Alright, Shalom. Koholo Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to your brothers that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Okay, I'm um, pushing the word. Okay, the scriptures uh, say that this word shall go throughout the, the um, earth and then shall it income. Okay, so Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai's word has been going out, and we have been commissioned all right, to push his word. Okay, now. Um, this word that you could see on the screen is the Hebrew word. Um, the word is uh, rawam, okay, which the word means uh, to rise, rise up, be high, be lofty, be exalted, okay. And then the, the uh, video that I'm doing, I'm just going to bring out a few precepts on the works of the Lord and the power of the Lord, okay. And his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah, and they are to be exalted. Okay, and um, they are going to be exalted. As a matter of fact, let's go to this scripture. Um, what is this? Uh, Philippians, the book of Philippians. Philippians. Uh, I think it's two. Is it twenty? No, let me see. Yeah, here it goes right here. This is uh, Philippians 2 and 9. Philippians 2 and 9. It says, Wherefore, Yahweh also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Okay, so the Heavenly Father have highly exalted his son, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and let's look up this word for um, exalted in uh, the Greek. Um, a word in the Greek. G fifty two fifty one. Huper Upsao. Huper Upsao. Huper Upsao. Um, so that word means um to exalt to the highest rank and power, rise to supreme majesty, to to extol most highly, to be lifted up with pride, exalted exalted beyond measure, to carry oneself loftily. So here it is, we've have been um commissioned to speak of the one that's going to be exalted most highly okay and his power okay the power that have given him all right that power is the the father yahweh and he's given that interest to his son yahweh shah and these are the works of yahweh okay through yahweh shah um in particular yahweh the heavenly father so he did this okay back during the time of egypt to the point where and i want to read it to the point where even the uh, Egyptian king or Pharaoh had no choice but to acknowledge that him and his people were wicked. Okay, with these plagues that the Lord sent upon them. So I'm going to start at uh, Exodus 9 and 15. It says, For now I will stretch out my hand that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. Okay, and that's what the Lord did to the, uh, to the ancient Egyptians. Okay, which they were uh, Mizraim. Which today you would call them the Sudanese people. Okay, they're those people of sub-Saharan um, Africa. Okay, and they were known from being uh, tall people. Okay, it says, And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared through, throughout all the earth. So the Lord's purpose was to raise, raise up those people, in particular the Egyptians, all right, to show forth his uh, work. So Esau, Edom, you're the modern day Egyptians. And this applies to you. The Lord have raised you up. Okay. Uh, for to show in thee my power. The power of the Lord. Yahweh. Okay. Because the Lord is going to take you down according to his words. All right. As yet exaltest thou thyself against my people. That thou will not let them go. Behold tomorrow about this time. I will cause it to rain. A very grievous hail, such as have not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. So here it is, the Lord is doing things that he has never done, okay, to this particular people. And the Lord is getting ready to do more things that he's never done to these modern day Egyptians, okay. Alright, um, it says, I sin therefore now, 
and gather thy cattle and all that thou hast in the field for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field and shall not be brought home the hail shall come down upon them and they shall die he that feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the house so you had people among uh, Pharaoh uh, that feared the Lord you know to uh, be compelled to get their servants and cattle out of the field once they heard the decree that you know shall come okay it says and he that regardeth not the word of the Lord left his servants and his cattle in the field so you had people that didn't regard the word of the Lord then you had people that were of the heathen that did regard the word of the Lord it says and the Lord said unto Moses stretch forth thine hand towards heaven that thou may be hail in all the land of Egypt upon man and upon beasts and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt and Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven and the Lord sent thunder and hail and the fire ran upon the ground and the and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt so there was hail and fire mingled with hail very grievous such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation and the hail and the hail smoked throughout all the land of Egypt all that was in the field both man and beast and the hail smote every herb of the field and break every tree of the tr field so that was some powerful hail that was a powerful work of the Lord okay done okay uh, uh, through um, the spirit okay and, and done at the hand of Moses okay and the power was given of the father from on high all right only in the land of Goshen where the children of Israel were was there no hell so the Lord put a, a difference okay in between the heathen and the nation of Israel okay and Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them I have sinned this time the Lord is righteous and I and my people are wicked so it was so bad that Pharaoh had to call to Moses and Aaron okay and he made a confession he said I have sinned this time the Lord is righteous and and I and my people are wicked now we have the scripture uh, that says the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning okay and in particular the Lord the, the, okay the Lord put a the Lord put a, a, a difference okay in between um, the children of Israel and the land of Goshen and the heathen okay so let's go to this next scripture this is Psalm 33 and 8 it says let all the earth fear the Lord let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him for he spake and it was done he commanded and it stood fast the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught he maketh the devices of the people of none effect and that's how the Lord is going to be exalted by his work his power okay and making these things come to pass his word that he spake and he commanded let it let it be, let it stand fast okay the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen that's their their uh, counsel what they intend to do to the people what they intend to do to, to the children of Israel okay in these last days uh, bringing forth their new world order he maketh the devices of the people of none effect okay because he brings it to naught. the counsel of the Lord standeth forever the thoughts of his heart to all generations and what are we given the thoughts of the Lord's heart by bringing out these precepts week in and week out doing these videos okay now let's go to uh, Sirach 10 and verse 13 it says for, for pride is the beginning of sin and he that have it pour out abomination and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew, overthrew them utterly the Lord have cast down the thrones of the of pride princes and set up the meek in their stead and we're looking for this to happen again the Lord to uh, cast down the throne of uh, proud princes the Lord have plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their places the Lord overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundation of the earth he took some of them away and destroyed them and have made their memorial to cease from the earth and that's the power of the Lord and that's why he's going to be exalted now the word exalt in the regular dictionary I looked it up it says uh, hold it says hold in very high regard think or speak very highly of and, and that's what we do of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shah okay because we, we exalt the name that's why 
this precept right here this is the spirit that King David was in uh, Psalm 30 let me see I'm gonna start at 2 Psalm 34 and 2 it says my soul shall make her boast in the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad okay or magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together okay so let us exalt his name together okay and, and guess what um, it says the humble shall hear therefore and be glad because we've heard of what the Lord is going to do okay and to all generations the Lord is going to make good on his word he's going to bring the counsel of the heathen to not okay whatever they intend okay to do through this uh, uh, corona scare okay um, he, he plans on bringing it to naught. so you're going to start to see uh, well you were hearing of it of his uh, plans his devices that he wants to bring to pass okay and they're going to be more all right, but with that, you know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, brothers, that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.